Um, what should we do next? We should get these notes next. Hello. We also should use Kazooie to make ourselves a little bit faster. Oh, hey, what's up, Skeleton Bro? I think there's a mumbo token down here. Yeah, there is. Let's go into this little shack right here and see what's. She would shack a lacking. She would shaking, shacking. Four notes that we can pick up. Random notes. I'm telling you, they're just randomly put in places. So obvious letters on the ground are obvious all the way around. Those itches again. <sighs> and be yawning. All right, so this is greetings, O oh Solid. I'm Tumbler, the Mighty. Solve the puzzle. Uh, so basically, you know, we're just gonna have to spell out Banjo Kazooie again. But this little uh, ghoul is going to run around and make our life a bit difficult. And if you touch the red panels, you do lose some health. So you don't want to do this as fast as possible because you also are on a time limit and you don't want to get hit by that um, ghoulie. Let's wait for him and you know play it safe here. Um, usually, I like to go in like a. I think this is an A right here. Yeah, good. I like to do go in the counterclockwise pattern. And then proceed to... Oh, not get hit. Kazoo... Oh, I should have gone for this O first, shouldn't I? Yeah, probably. You can, you can make this in three perfect counterclockwise rotations. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Hey, get the hell out of here. But you can have plenty of time. You're... you're You'll make this. This is no big issue whatsoever. I do think it's silly how Banjo looks, though. He looks like he's just a surfer dude on top of the thing when he's doing it. He's like, ooh. Alright, so he's gonna leave, and we can get ourselves a Jiggy for solving that puzzle. And leave. So as you can see, we've been in here for, I think, about ten minutes now, and we only have three Jiggies. Yeah, definite, definite increase in complexity. There's not a whole lot going on because we're trying to solve stuff for later. And picking up random notes and random mumbo tokens as well. Four notes on top of there and we also need to go over here and I think we need to, yeah, we need to bust this thing. Bust that thing open and let me double check. Yeah, I'm gonna get these notes while we're over here. So more random notes. I mean, dude, like... I, I'm telling you right now, the note placement is obscure at best in this level. I don't know how many times I have to reiterate, but... Ah, screw it, I'll take the hit. Oh, crap. I forgot to, um, open the second gate. Oh, I think there's a Momo token back here. Yeah, there is. Didn't see that the first time. Alright, we need to go this way and bust open this door before we continue on with most of the other stuff we want to do in the level. So we can return back to the area with the pond and the running shoes. Trying to remember if there's anything I've forgotten before I want to do this. I don't think there is. All right, so you step on. You have to slam. You have to slam this switch. Slam this switch and play a little ditty. And we have to go ahead and put on the running shoes and make our way all the way to that door over there before the time limit fades out. It's really not that hard. Plays a little bit of victory music, and we're automatically taken to a cutscene which takes us inside of this little chapel. So this is the chapel of Mad Monster Mansion. For some strange reason, everything becomes gigantic when you're in here, including the enemies. Look how big the ghouls are now. They're like super monstrous. Never understood that. Especially this guy. Look at this guy. Come here. Come here. Thank gosh. Trying to conserve my gold feathers because I need a ton of them. Oh! Hey! Guess what? Random notes. Almost forgot about them. 
Random note. It's really boring. Like, it's just... I love Mad Monster Mansion. I love the music in Mad Monster Mansion, especially. But it's just the... The size they made some of the areas, and like... I don't know, I think the level design was mediocre for this level. There wasn't like a whole lot of interesting stuff that happened. In fact, half the time when I do this level, I completely forget to go in the chapel. Like, I just forget to, because it's like, I don't remember it. There's nothing too incredibly memorable about this entire place. Except for the fact that I was scared out of my mind when I was a kid, trying to play this. I was like, oh, it's creepy, there's ghosts. Ah. Any more random notes? No? Not yet? There will be more, trust me. Alright, Motan plays... He's arguing with Ease, but you can follow him on the keys! Uh, that's right, so we're just gonna follow him and play every note he plays. But here's the most annoying part, especially as a musician. Every time he presses a key, it's the same note. And they didn't even bother to fix this in the Xbox Live Arcade version. It's rather annoying. Mm. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out what note it is just by ear right now. Oh well. I can't think of what note it is. <laughs> I have a perfect pitch. It might be a C. No, it's not. There's no way. I think it's a B. I think it's a B, yeah. I'm almost pre oh, I just bumped my mic. Sorry, I had an itch on my face. Is it the last one? This is the last one, isn't it? No, it's not! Oh my god, how long does this go for? There it is. Play some cool music. Motan fades out. Music skills are mighty fine. So take this golden piece of mine. I will. Thank you, thank you very much. Alright, so to get up there, we're going to have to climb a bit higher. Also, random notes. I might point that out. And we can grab, the, I think, the, only the fourth jig in the world. Yep, that's still only the fourth, and we're well into this level. Uh, it takes a while to beat. Alright, so strangely enough, on this side, you, there is a unlit candle with a flying pad on it. You jump on over to that thing and fly on up in the air. Go up a bit, and you will be treated to lots of collectibles. Honeycomb pieces, you know, honeycomb pieces, the mumbo tokens, and the like. Oh, also the grunty switch is up here, I think. Don't you dare bump me off. I will piss my pants if I it's fall off here. I hate falling in video games. Anyone else, like, even if they, like, watch a movie, or something stupid like that, or they're playing a video game and they fall, they get that same sensation as if they're actually falling. It's like the most annoying thing ever. It, I don't understand how that works in the human body. Anyway, as you saw, we actually just made, um... Wow, oh, I can't see it all. We just made uh, a, a Jiggy appear in the overworld, uh, right where I said before that we were going to, um... You know, we busted that eye open to make that easier for us. So that's the ju that's the jiggy that I was trying to make easier, so we can go back and get it later without uh, having to bust open the eye again. I'm like getting really tired of this level. Like this, I don't know why. Thank you. Oh fuck you too! Somebody pointed out to me that. It sounds like those pots say fuck you instead of thank you, so. You know, if somebody pooped an egg in my face as well, I'd probably say fuck you. 
I, I, I do the same. Can't even blame these pots. <gasps> it totally sounds like it. Every, every time I listen to it, it just sounds more and more like it. I'll save that heart for later. Heart. I just called it a heart. <gasps> no. I wanted to pick it up again. So now, if you couldn't tell, the uh, that Grant Kirkhope also wrote the music to, you know, the Donkey Kong 64. Uh, if you couldn't tell, he also wrote the music to Donkey Kong 64. Right here, this is very much reminiscent of the song um, from Creepy Castle, if you all remember that level. In fact, Grant Kirkhope for, uh, personally stated that was one of his favorite compositions, the Creepy Castle music. Just a bit of Grant Kirkhope trivia for you right there. So we poop in the last pot, and it gives us a free jiggy. Not gonna complain. Also, there's a bit of a secret over here. You can see the uh, stained glass window in the shape of Mando and Kazooie. You can jump inside of it. There's nothing really important in here. No jiggies or anything. But there are uh, gold feathers and uh, just refills on all your stuff. So, you know, if you're running low on things, I'd suggest coming in here. Oh, shoot! That was like some major slowdown just happened right there. I don't even know that. I don't even know what was going on. Alright, so let's get out of here. I just wanted those gold feathers. Nice to have. Nice to have gold feathers at your expense. Or, er, at your disposal. That's what I'm going to say. Not at your expense. That's stupid. My stupid, stupid. Oh, okay. So let's defeat this ghoulie while we can. I don't like having him around. I just like getting rid of him because, uh... There's collectioneering that we have to do. Getting notes, getting Jinjos, getting all the above. In the hedge maze. Is there a token back there? Nope. Just snag. Come in the corner. Nope. Doesn't help that they made the camera angle terrible. That's the exit. Don't want to go there. Ah, oh, gold feather back here. Cool. Uh, ah, here's some notes. So we're at 72 notes, so, you know, collectioneering pays off eventually, but it's just, you know, this level scatters them out so much. Alright, there's a... Oh, that's the last ginger, too. There you go. So now, finally, things are starting to kick up a bit that we've, you know, gone and completed some of the prior tasks that we've had to do before we go and finish the level itself. Now, however, we need to go... Just gotta think a little bit. 